Here's the latest update for the expected ongoing and uh, ongoing uh, winter weather across the area. And I know some of us, like here in Riverton, we've seen record snow so far, and we've got 20 inches on the ground. A lot of us are getting sick of this already. It's like that scene in the movie Animal House where they're initiating the guy. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Well, a lot of places, that's going to be the situation. I'm not happy about it. Some people might be, though. Our watches, warnings, and advisories. A lot of different colors here. It looks like a Christmas tree. Winter storm warnings, the most impactful. Those are in the uh, pink shading. Basically a crescent from the Star Valley, Jackson Valley, Yellowstone, to over toward the Bighorn Basin, and then from Buffalo down toward Casper. Winter weather advisories, still some snow, maybe not as much as these areas, not as much impact. Places like Riverton, Lander, Pinedale, also down here toward Jeffrey City. Finally, this orangish color down here across Sweetwater County. That's a high wind warning. That's in effect today. If you want to start in end times on these, just go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RIW. And the wind gusts for today, gusts maybe up to 60 miles per hour across uh, this area down here across uh, Sweetwater County. Could be gusts to around 50, though, around Kemmerer, also Jeffrey City. So if you're traveling on 287 here, could get a little bumpy. Around 40 miles per hour on Casper, also the Lee, the Cody Foothills, seeing the strongest gusts. But just about everybody may have some breezy conditions out there today. And it could warm things up east of the divide, so maybe a little bit of good news there. So uh, types of impacts across the area. Travel problems, a very good chance of that across the area. Some places are actually seeing road closures as I toss film this. Cold temperatures, 100% chance of seeing that, especially east of the divide. The coldest we've definitely seen so far this calendar year. And blowing snow. Call that medium, it's going to depend upon where you are, but there could be some decent impacts from that where it does happen, since this will be a dry, powdery snow. Now, the cold temperatures we're looking at, it will start cooling off as we head towards Saturday into Sunday, but the real coldest air is going to be probably Sunday to about the Tuesday time frame. Now, the lows on Monday morning, you see widespread areas, just about everybody below zero. Coldest temperature is probably around rivered in the deep snowpack. Cold air can drain down here, minus 24, we're expecting uh, downtown there. Many years in the Bighorn Basin getting down below 20, below zero. Now, the one mitigating factor here, we may still have some leftover cloud cover to put a bit of a blanket on the atmosphere. That probably won't be the case as we head to our Tuesday morning. This will probably be the coldest day. Maybe down to 30 below in some of the colder areas, 15 to 20 below across the I-80 corridor, down to the minus 20s across much of the Bighorn Basin. Areas not quite as cold, probably over here across Johnson County, New Trona County, maybe a little bit of wind to mix the atmosphere here, but very cold temperatures expected over the next few days. Now, before we get to the snowfall, I want to emphasize this. Focus on the impacts of the snow rather than the snowfall amounts. It's going to be a dry, powdery snow. It's going to blow around a lot. It's going to be really hard to measure this in a lot of places. Besides, if you can't plow your road, you can't get out, it doesn't matter if you get four inches or eight inches. Unless you plow snow for a living, probably not. I know you want to know how much snow you're going to get, so probabilistic stuff first. Give you a range. Now, first we're going to do the timing of the snow impacts. I'm tired this morning. I'm sorry. In any case, uh, snow is not going across the western mountains. The maximum impact heavy snow will be today with lighter snow as we head towards Saturday. Most of the rest of the area, other than a few snow showers, much of the area should be dry during the day today as that Arctic boundary starts dropping to the south, starting across the north later this afternoon, then going into the evening hours across central Wyoming, and later on tonight as we head toward down southern areas, with maximum impacts in this area anywhere from late tonight toward the Saturday time frame. Now, the probabilistic stuff that I was going to get to earlier Looks like uh, it's the low end amount across the area. You can see many of the lower elevations here east of the divide, anywhere from about one to three inches, depending on where you are. Maybe a little bit more here from Buffalo down toward Casper, at least maybe three, four, five inches. Now, the epicenter of this storm is going to be out west. It's been snowing out there. It's going to continue for a while. At least six more inches around Jackson, five around Moran Junction. Anywhere from 10 to 13 more inches across the Star Valley. Alpine could do really well out of this in the lower elevations. But look at some of the mountains here. Higher elevations of the Tetons up around the ski resorts there. Probably at least another two feet of snow there. I know we bump it up to the mat likely maximum amount we're going to get. See that color right there? That's over 36 inches. Some places out there could pick up an additional 36, maybe 40 inches by the time this is all said and done. Maximum amount around the Jackson Valley, probably about another foot on top of what you've seen already. Maybe locally up to 18, 19 inches in the Star Valley. As we shift our attention east of the divide, maximum amount anywhere from 8 to 10 inches along the I-25 corridor, Buffalo down toward Casper. Central areas of the state, anywhere from three to six inches. Includes places like Rayville, Riverton, Casper as well. I-80 quarter, again, maximum amount, anywhere from three to six inches. Now, if some of you are wondering, why'd you put a warning up in this area and not down here? Well, number one, up in this area, they haven't had as much snow this winter. Also, there's going to be more wind in this area than down around the Wind River Basin. So, impact's probably greater here than here, even though there's a little less snow up in this area. Now, the most likely amount of snow we're going to see 
about an average between those. You can see uh, Western Valley is about 6 to 12 across the Jackson Valley, about 8 to 16 across the Star Valley, where the highest amounts and the lower elevations will be. Another 2 to 3 feet across the Tetons. Now we shift east of the divide. Anywhere from about 2 to 5 inches across the lower elevations of uh, the Wind River Basin and also the uh, Bighorn Basin. Maybe a little bit more around Lander with the upslope flow developing. About 2 to 5 inches across the uh, Sweetwater County. And across uh, eastern areas, I-25, about 5 to 8 around Buffalo. 6 to 9 around Casper with the higher amounts as you head toward Casper Mountain. And probably over a foot when you get up on top of Casper Mountain out toward Hogadon. And you want some resources for whether you know where to go, whether it's gov slash R-A-W, road conditions. Again, don't call us for road conditions. Go here. This is where we get them from, yro.info. On the phone, you want to call them. If you're in-state, 511, coming from out-of-state, 188 Y-O Road. You want to take a look at those webcams for yourself, make your own decision there. Let's go to our webcams by route on our homepage, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Click on local programs and then that tab. Be safe, everybody. Have a good day.